Hello everyone, it's Lisa Turner here from Psych Academy, and today I want to talk to you about opening your third eye and being a high-level psychic. Now, if you want to do any of these things, even if you're not sure what high-level psychic is, I will explain that in just a moment. But if you're interested in either of those, just po post a yes or just post anything in the comments because I'm going to send you, I'm going to send you something special. So pop that in the comments. So one of the commonest questions, really frequent questions I get asked is, how do I open my third eye? And they, a lot of people want to connect with their guides, connect with high level guides. And, and so what I've done is I've put together a special training, special video that if you just pop the, pop a post in the comments, just anything at all, pop yes, hi, I will send that to you. So first of all, your third eye is one of your chakras. It's one of seven chakras, and it's often the one that people want to open first. But actually, it's it's there's a, there's some things that you need to do in order to make that happen. And I'm going to show you what those are on the video. So you're going to learn exactly how you like. A lot of people ask and get stuck on like you know like why is it hit and miss? Why is it that I sometimes can really communicate with my guides, or I'm really clairvoyant, and I can really you know I get the visions and I understand all this. And why other times, you know, it's just radio silence and I have no idea what's going on. And why sometimes do I get this overwhelming feelings of, you know, negative emotions that are related to places or people even? What's going on there? And people just might label that as being an empath. And yes, and again, we'll share more about that. Um, but there's really, there, there's really more to it. And it's really about understanding how the, like the, the psychic mind, how the what I call the psychic circuitry works so that you understand where the messages are coming from, when they're coming from a highly evolved place and when they're coming from maybe not so highly evolved and how to know the difference because that's really the difference between being a high level psychic and a low level psychic. And I'm going to give you some of the tips right now on how to do that. Hi, Donna. Hi, Suzanne. Like, nice to see you. Lots of other people joining. No idea who you are. I can just see who some of you are. So, um, so, if you want to open your third eye, if you want to be that, learn how to be a high level psychic and what that is, pop a little post there. So the thing about the difference, there's a big difference between being a, what I call a low level psychic or a, it's really, a, it's really about working at the level of the unconscious mind versus working at the level of highly evolved beings. And the fundamental difference is, do you get really cool, interesting information that's like, you know, knowing what what somebody's dog's name is or what they had for breakfast or even maybe something that happened to them or is it getting really interesting like being able to create really deep and profound transformation for your clients because let's face it why does a client come to somebody for a psychic reading they come because they want something in their life to be changed they want something to in their life to be different they, it's like, yeah, they might just want to know what's going to happen to them, but they want to know what's going to happen to them. So they're ready. So rather than predicting the future, wouldn't it be better if you could enable them to create the future? So how to be a high level psychic. So pop that in, Ooh, pop that in, but you know, pop in a, a comment. Yes. I want to learn how to be a high level psychic. Yes. I want to activate my third eye, pop that in the comments and I will send, uh, I will send you, I'll send you some stuff. So Donna says, yeah, I think a lot are bereaved. Yeah, but there's more to it than that. And I'm going to explain exactly why there's more to it, like the difference between a, a, a really highly evolved guide and like, wouldn't it be amazing if you could actually help somebody to, rather than just communicating with their past loved ones, to help them to completely release the pain of the loss. Wouldn't that be really cool? So so much more that we could cover. So um, one thing that you can do right now, I'm going to give you something right now. And if you like this, just um, click on the little hearty thing. Let's click on the hearts to really share this, really share this and get this out. Because I think it's really important. If more people were, uh, had their third eye open, could really be present, present to source, present to themselves, present to, and really able to connect with the highly evolved guys. Wouldn't that be cool? So here's right now, pop some, pop a comment in the, in the, in the comments box, post anything in the comments box. And I'm going to give you one really simple technique right now. So it's meditate, chanting any mantra you like, doesn't really matter. Oh, I'm loving these hearts. Thank you. I love you too. And you can just do a really simple, really gentle medit um, massage on right on your third eye. And you'll kind of know where it is. There's like a little, there's a little indentation just right there. 
So just massage that very gently, very, very gently, and you will find yourself. That'll be just, it's only one small piece, a whole lot more that I'm going to send you. When you pop a post, pop a comment in the post, post a comment. That's what I'm trying to say. Post a comment and I'll send you some stuff. Say, yes, I want to be a high level psychic. Yes, I want to open my third eye and I will send you a little message on how you can do that. So till then, lots and lots of love. Bye for now. Remember, massage there. That's just one step, really powerful step. Enjoy it. Till then, I'm loving all the yeses. Loving the yeses. See you on the other side. Bye for now.